Pamela cancels its last presidential and vice presidential debates amid a debt fiasco involving its former production partner, Impact Hub Manila. Commissioner George Garcia on Monday, April 25, says the inevitable scheduling conflicts among the candidates will make it virtually impossible to push through the debate's final leg. The rescheduled debates were supposed to be held on April 30 and May 1 from the original April 23 to 24. Instead, the COMELEC and the Kapisana ng mga broadcaster ng Pilipinas will hold a taped candidates forum from May 2 to 6 with each participant entitled to a one-hour interview. An April 20 demand letter said check signed by Impact Hub Manila Chief Executive Officer Cesc Rondario were dishonored by the banks for being drawn against insufficient funds. The COMELEC launched an investigation into the matter. Presidential candidate and Vice President Lenny Robredo continues to receive support two weeks before the elections as Dumanhog Mayor Gungun Gika declares on Thursday, April 21, he would support Robredo's presidential bid. This despite his party president and Cebu Governor Gwen Garcia choosing Ferdinand Bongbong Marcos Jr. as her president. In a Facebook post which went online around the same time as Robredo's grand rally in Mandawi City, Cebu, Gika says he admires and still supports his governor but is choosing Robredo as his president. Dumanhug is the town where the Garcia family is originally from and is an area where the ruling Juan Cebu party is dominant. A Mindanao-based partilist group on Sunday, April 24 also declares its support for Robredo. The Anak Mindanao or Amin party list says it would go all out for Robredo as it campaigns for seats in the House of Representatives to represent marginalized groups of Mindanaoans. Amin's endorsement comes a day after Robredo secures the support of the United Bangsamoro Justice Party, the political party of the Moro Islamic Liberation Front, in Maguindanao on Saturday, April 23. Meanwhile, Education Nation, a coalition of 35 organizations and 21 experts, also gives Robredo a 10 out of 10 for her plans in education, quote, based on data-driven and fact-based research and monitoring of the presidential candidates' platforms and track record. But Philippine Business for Education President Chito Salazar stresses they are non-partisan and will not be campaigning for any candidate. The result of their study, which scrutinizes the candidates' platforms and media interviews, is done for their policy-making advocacy. Need more context, clarity, and perspective? Get the full picture with Rappler Plus. With exclusive content and events, you'll get an opportunity to discuss issues with reporters, experts, and featured guests while helping Rappler continue its fearless journalism. Join now. Comelec Commissioner Ray Bulay on Monday, April 25, clarifies his comments about arresting the poll body's critics are only a warning and not a threat. Malayo yung sa salita ko, yung kritiko, yung hindi ko nabanggit eh, yung salita ang kritiko at yung threat. Saan naman kayo nakakita sa Pilipinas na yung kritiko, pwedeng ikulog. On Friday, April 22, Bulay said he will not hesitate to use the armed forces of the Philippines to deal with and even arrest those who sow doubt on the integrity of the elections. Bulay made the personal warning during a press briefing Friday, April 22, touting his credentials as previous chief prosecutor of Manila. Yung pong mga nagpo-comment ng public opinion na ang COMELEC eh, may sinasaydan, may kinakampihan at mandadaya. Ako po ay nagwa-warning sa inyo. We will not hesitate to call upon the armed forces of the Philippines na ngayong sa panahong ito ay nasa ilalim ng kontrol ng COMELEC na patulan at ipahuli at ipakulong kayo. The privilege of the writ of habeas corpus is not suspended during election season, meaning everyone enjoys the basic constitutional right of due process. Bulay is a Comelec newcomer who joined the commission just six months away from the May 9 polls. 
Emmanuel Macron comfortably defeats far-right rival Marine Le Pen on Sunday, April 24, averting a political earthquake for Europe, but also acknowledges dissatisfaction with his first term and says he would seek to make amends. In his victory speech, he acknowledges many had only voted for him only to keep Le Pen out, and he promises to address the concerns of many French that their living standards are slipping. Two years of disruption from the pandemic and surging energy prices brought about by the Ukraine war catapults economic issues to the fore of the campaign. The rising cost of living has become an increasing strain for the poorest in the country. Leaders in Berlin, Brussels, London, and beyond welcome his defeat of the far-right Eurosceptic Le Pen. Le Pen quickly admitted defeat but vows to keep up the fight with parliamentary elections in June. Actor Jay Cuenca confirms his breakup with Miss International 2016, Kylie Versosa. In an Instagram post Saturday, April 23, the actor shares two photos. One of a figurine of him, Kylie, and their dogs, and another of their hands locked together. In the caption, he writes, This was us. Jake says he's proud of them because they didn't break up in anger, and the actor says he will continue to support Kylie and pray for her success. Jake and Kylie began dating in late 2018, though they only went public with their relationship in June 2019. Meanwhile, Chris Aquino says she will be leaving the Philippines soon to get medical treatments abroad. Chris shares her departure plans on Saturday, April 23, in a comment on Regine Velasquez's Instagram post. The youngest Aquino apologizes to the veteran singer for her late birthday greeting, citing her current health situation and revealing she will be gone for more than a year to get treated. In March, Chris was diagnosed with erosive gastritis and gastric ulcer after a series of preliminary tests, but was cleared of kidney and liver disease in late February. Chris, 51, has been undergoing a series of medical tests and treatments. Since disclosing in 2018, she was diagnosed with chronic spontaneous urticaria. It is an autoimmune disease that causes hives and, in serious cases, can lead to anaphylaxis or a severe allergic reaction. 